July 4th weekend, and every campsite along the coast is booked. But who cares, because Laguna Seca has camping, and I'll take a spot on this racetrack any day. It's also a track day today, so before we set up camp, we decide to see if there's any seats available in the grandstands. Looks like we got the last two spots. hope right now is that she's laughing so hard she's not noticing this Richard Simmons dance performance I appear to be putting on. Go for the bike. One cheek, one cheek at a time. Hi, I'm Phil Collins, and uh, I, I started racing Speedway back in England in 1976. Um, I won the British Championship over there when I was 18. I was hungry, and I stopped at the, at the store here to grab a steak sandwich, and uh, I just noticed you guys. Uh, you know, a triumph, you know, I'm a motorcycle nut and uh, uh, the uh, Honda emblems on your jackets and I saw you just busy away typing away. I'm thinking now, I looked out in the parking lot, I saw your bikes out here and loaded up to the gills and I'm thinking these guys look like, like they're doing, they, I thought you were from Europe and you were coming to America and doing the coast run and uh, writing about all your exploits, traveling Highway 1 in California, but uh, Obviously, there's a bit more to it than that. Who would have thought Phil Collins had time for all that motorcycle racing between Genesis gigs? California's Highway 1 is epic. People from around the world seek out this road, and I cannot imagine a single one is ever disappointed. It's a magnificent, twisty highway that goes on for hundreds of miles. Yeah, we're only averaging maybe 40 miles per hour, which is gonna make for a very long day, but I could care less. The views are breathtaking. I love the ocean. The smell of it, the taste of the salt in the air, the views, and I daydream of someday living next to it. later, Zach pulls over and I find myself waiting on him. Come on over here. I want to pet you. I want to hug you. Come on, cow. Come on over. Come on over. Come on. We really have to make up some time and get to Los Angeles. If we stop trying to pet every fuzzy thing along the way, we may just make it. looking forward to tomorrow. I was hoping that we could camp before dark, but that's not going to happen. Welcome. Welcome. 
welcome you guys. Hey, nice to meet you. So uh, we're going to take her for a little tour, okay. and you can wait right over here. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Let's go. Oh, see you guys in a bit. The American Honda Campus Headquarters is impressive to say the least. Bill Savino went over the layout of the 101 acre campus, which houses everything including corporate offices, a parts distribution center, production studios, the Honda race shop, and their R&D departments. Now, I knew this place was big, but I never imagined it was this big. This is our home. I mean, it, it, it is kind of cool to work here every day. It feels like you're at a college campus. You can pretty much do everything you want. <laughs> and then you got motorcycles to play with that night when you want to leave. Yeah. So it's always good. And we actually do, we do call it a campus. And it, it's interesting because, of course, there are other, not only Japanese companies, but others around. And we have absolutely the most beautiful campus. campus and yeah. It, yeah. it's uh, kind of, it's a pleasure to come to work here every day. Bill and John tell me to grab my bike and meet them around back. You know, it's been a while. Hopefully Zach's keeping himself entertained. <laughs> to my surprise, a Honda technician wheels my bike into a bay and before I know it, he's giving it a thorough look over. He immediately notices my bent lever and sets out to replace it. Now, I usually never let anyone else work on my bike, but I think he's more than qualified. Awesome. Thank you. Amanda, welcome. This is our motorcycle service center. It's uh, when we're in our little cubicle sitting up there and we get really bored, which is several times a day, all of us gearheads come down here and just like to look at everything and see and sit on it because we're all motorcycle nuts and that's yeah. part of it. But basically here we have four uh, Honda technicians that basically service and prepare all of the bikes. And this is for the different departments. Basically these are all of our press units that go out to magazines media. They come in and out and we prep them. So when you see shootouts or tests from you know, the different magazines like Cycle World, Motorcycle, Rider, this is where they, they come and get them. Oh. Oh. That's, our, uh, that's our Moto 2, uh, that's yeah. our Moto 2 Roger Lee Hayden bike. Because they yeah. built this bike, uh, they started on the 4th of July, right. about this time, two years ago, and had it ready for Indianapolis. Including testing that they did at Chuckwalla. And John and I were both there in the 114 degree temperatures. Oh. So he was out there testing for two days, and the temperature was no less than 114. Oh. He'd go out and do like six or seven laps, come in and be iced down, try to think, keep things cool, but it was insane. But oh. it was a really fun project that John and I got to be really involved with. And obviously now the one bike gets to stay in our, uh, our press bin. Where are you like going? It's on the stand, you're good. Yeah. Really? Yeah, absolutely. For sure. Man, if we could get this running, maybe we could just switch bikes with you. <laughs> yeah. and, uh, you probably have a little bit more horsepower and a little bit less weight. Yeah. Yeah, so that's basically a Milwaukee chassis with the CBR 600 built HRC motor. There are no words for the awesomeness that is this bike. I mean, just look at it. I know my baby would be jealous if she knew I was back here drooling over another bike, but I'm on an actual Moto2 bike. Quick, can somebody take a photo? I don't want to get off of it now. I'm just going to sit here all day. just a few more minutes to look over the Moriwaki Moto2 bike. But just look at me, I'm the happiest girl in the world right now. Bill and John show me one last bike that's more my size before it's time to leave. Afterwards, 
Zach and I take a final moment to visit the ocean before we head off, and I take the time to tell him in incredible detail about the oh-so-awesome tour Bill and John from Honda gave to me.